Commercial Division of the High Court is a project facilitated by the Government of St. Lucia through the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council in partnership with the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. Given our mandate to enhance competitiveness, our funding agency, Compete Caribbean, agreed to provide funding for the NCPC, the, the National Competitiveness Productivity Council, to undertake or coordinate a, a very high um, priority business reform that is in keeping with the doing business agenda for St. Lucia. So as a result, the government of St. Lucia provided the NCBC with the mandate to coordinate the, commercial, to the establishment of the commercial division of the court together with the Ministry of the Legal Affairs and also the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. Funding was found for a consultant, myself, to put together the establishment of a commercial division. The court, which was launched on the 19th of January 2016, was established to settle commercial and business disputes. A yeah, commercial claim is effectively one arising out of a transaction in, in trade or commerce. So, you know, one of the most common types would probably be your, your business contract or your commercial contract uh, for goods and services, for instance. Uh, there's also uh, claims in banking and finance law or company law claims and insolvency law as well. With all commercial, business and financial disputes having been processed within the civil division of the High Court from 2009, the average number of cases filed in the High Court was estimated to have been 2,179 with approximately 80% of these cases being filed as civil matters. We have a significant backlog and as a result, the, the cases that are coming from our commercial system is not receiving the priority and attention that it deserves. And consequently, as a government, we felt it was extremely necessary to establish a specialized commercial court to deal with these issues. So with the introduction of the commercial court, we see a redistribution of the workload to manageable and equitable proportions. That in itself should allow us to see uh, a, a reduction, a tremendous reduction in the length of time that it takes to settle commercial matters. And it would also um, replicate itself in the other civil courts in bringing about a, a reduction in the time that it takes to get a matter to trial and, and to conclusion. Well, again, the purpose behind creating the commercial court was to alleviate some of the backlog of cases that are within the civil jurisdiction. So the idea was to move the, the heavier, weightier, more involved commercial matters away from the civil court to a specialized commercial division. And so a threshold of $200,000 was set as the basic limit for cases moving across. So basically, if your case is $200,000 or more in value and is of a commercial nature, it'll be heard by the commercial court. The establishment of the commercial division of the High Court is set to not only benefit the judicial system in St. Lucia, but also have a positive impact on competitiveness and the ease of doing business on the island. As part of the doing business agenda for St. Lucia, Enforcing enforcement of contracts were considered important for several reasons. Firstly, St. Lucia has been wrong very poorly on the World Bank ease of doing business due to the inordinate length of time that it takes for a commercial dispute to go through the courts, in addition to the number of regulations and also the associated cost. Secondly, we believe that having a specialized commercial division will ease the burden on the High Court and will lead to commercial dispute being settled a lot quicker. The efficient operation of the court will directly impact the World Bank's ease of doing business ranking for St. Lucia and the overall business climate through the enforcement of a contract indicator. This is highly critical as for a number of years this indicator has been one of St. Lucia's worst performing indicators but the establishment of the court seems set to change this. The World Bank has changed its methodology in, in measuring um, a lot of the indicators and the ease of doing business. So with the changing methodology along the, the establishment of the commercial division, St. Lucia now ranks as 67 out of 189 countries. Now, um, in order to continue to improve on our ranking, we need to focus on three main indicators. So firstly, look at time. time 
that a commercial dispute goes through the court. So you look at from filing to trial to the enforcement of judgment. According to the World Bank, St. Lucia takes approximately 635 days for that entire process. So we have to focus on the time factor. Secondly, you look at the cost factor. Um, the cost factor is, is calculated um, based on the percentage of a claim. So you have the attorney's fees, you have um, court fees, and also enforcement fees. In the case of St. Lucia, our, our cost is 37% of the claim. If you were to compare that with Latin America and the Caribbean, on average, the claim the, the, the cost is 30.8 percent of the claim, so a little higher than, than the average of the Latin American and Caribbean countries. The third indicator would be the quality of the judicial process, okay? And that is where the, the World Bank measures um, how well the court is doing in terms of a number of areas. You look at um, the court structure and proceedings. You also look at case management, court automation, and also looking at alternate dispute resolution. In regards to competitiveness, it is hoped that the court will provide an important service to the private sector by facilitating the resolution of business disputes in a quick and effective manner that ensures economic growth, bring about effective commercial dispute resolution, result in a rise in the number of investors willing to invest in St. Lucia, and increase the numbers of international investors who will use the court services due to its efficiency of resolving disputes in a timely manner. Certainly it would, because as an investor, before you come into a jurisdiction, you look at um, how disputes, if there's any disputes, how they're being settled. And as I said, at the moment, our court system is clogged. But as an investor, if I'm going to come in and realize that as a jurisdiction, as a country, St. Lucia has a specialized um, courts, commercial court to deal with disputes, commercial disputes, then it's going to cause me to feel a lot better in case should I have a dispute. So I believe it, is, it will enhance the environment for investment and for doing business in the country. The specialized commercial division will ease the burden on the High Court, which will result in commercial cases being settled expeditiously, increasing the efficiency of the judicial system. Like everything, it's, it's a new experience for most of us. Um, there are a few lawyers who have been fortunate enough to practice before the commercial court in the BVI, and so they would have a leg up on the rest of us. Uh, but like when we moved from the rules of the Supreme Court to the civil procedure rules, there will be a learning curve. Um, there is a lot of work that's involved in the commercial court. It requires a lot of the work to be done up front um, because again the idea is speed and so you're trying to go in to court with as much preparation done beforehand as possible. Under the civil procedure rules it allows things to play out a little bit more and a little bit more time to get things prepared as you move along. But with the commercial court we will have to be up and running from the very beginning. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge um, but I think the basic law is the basic law. Um, that stays the same. It's just that the procedure has changed and, and we're well suited to, to, to meet that challenge, I think. Another benefit would be that dimension of changing the whole perception of the court in the eyes of the public, the court system. I believe it would foster confidence in litigants to approach the court and access the court services. Uh, if they have the understanding that matters are dealt with justly and expeditiously. The establishment of the commercial court will make it easier, faster and less expensive to conduct business in St. Lucia. Thus businesses will be more likely to engage in new business ventures. New customers and new borrowers will become apparent and this will ultimately impact on their level of competitiveness. For more information on productivity awareness and development, call the NCPC at 468-5576 or 468-5571 or visit our website at stluciancpc.org and be sure to join us next time for some more Productivity Matters.